Yo, what's up guys, Sean here, aka I'm a flying midget, and today I'm going to show you guys how to get palm wood. You already know? Yeah guys, so I'm going to be showing you guys how to get um, some palm wood today, which is going to be pretty epic. It's, if you guys don't know what palm wood is, I'm going to kind of show you a little bit of what one looks like right now. Um, that's that that's our birch wood. So this is palm wood right here. Um, that's end times wood. Let's get that away from here Okay, so this is gonna be your birch wood on the right palm wood on the left. It's white a um, little bit creamier I guess colored um, a lot of you guys probably already know what palm wood is so um, Just kind of want to show the difference here now. It's a wood in the game that you can't actually get Like you can't get it yet. It's on an island um, that uh, you're not supposed to be able to get to yet. They're supposed to have boats to be able to drive over there or something. I've heard so many things about it. Honestly, I have no idea what the fault he was doing with it. Um, he hasn't updated this game in a really, really, really long time, so I don't know. I, he hasn't added any new features in a really while, long while, so um, I don't know if he's going to be adding that in sooner, if he's getting something going, but for right now, I don't really see um, him adding in something anytime soon to get this wood. Who knows, I might drop something tomorrow or something like that and, uh, and you're able to get this wood legit. So, um, before I show you guys how to get this wood, I just kind of want to show you the progress cut on the base. We're getting this archway done. This archway is like actually almost done, which is pretty solid. We just got the 2 by 4 wedge just kind of finish up. So much birch wood. Oh, we're getting there. We're getting there. The base is actually progressing. We're, we're moving somewhere. Um, I just don't know how much longer it's literally going to take us. This is going to be forever to get everything going. But once this archway is done, we can actually start kind of finishing the structure, doing this wall right here, finishing that wall, getting it kind of all set up. But the base is pretty legit. Um, it's just loads of stuff to do. Anyway, let's get on to the palm wood, guys. So uh, before I, before I kind of show you guys this, I need to let you guys know that uh, this might be patched. This is a glitch right now. So it might get patched. So don't comment down below after this video has been out for a year and be like, Midget, this doesn't work, bro. What, what, what's, what's the problem? You know what I mean? Um, so this does have the potential to get fixed, guys. I know a lot of YouTubers have been kind of showing this off. Uh, so uh, so my, my thought is if Defaultio is going to add something in the game soon, then he will be patching this bug. But I don't know. I mean, who knows? We, we don't know. So we'll... We'll see. Also, guys, I just want to let you guys know, check the description of this video. I do have a Discord server now. Um, I've been slowly kind of rolling it out and telling more and more people about it. So um, if you guys have Discord, you should definitely click that. Join my Discord. Hang out in there. Um, talk about all sorts of things. Play some Loma Tycoon stuff like that. Anyway, so this is how you do it, guys. Now, this is my setup right here. First off, you get a little chair like this, um, just a mundane chair. You can get at the fancy furnishings over there or something like that. Um, and then this guy right here is going to be your utility vehicle you can get from the Woods RS shop. It's the, it's the first vehicle you get. Super cheap. Nothing super expensive. Um, I first tried this method with, with the chair being on the ground. Just literally just placing a chair like uh, I'll show you. Literally just placing a chair like this. Literally on the ground. Perfect. Money balls like that. Um, and, uh, and I just need to say that this chair does have to go on the left side. When you're facing your spawner, it has to go on the left side. It has to be on the left side because um, if it's on the other side, then it's not going to work um, because, uh, because your character will it'll be attached to its to the wrong arm i can't even remember right now because i'm so so turned around but yeah so the chair has to be on the left side for it to work guys um and again it wasn't working for me when it was on the ground floor but sometimes it can work like that my recommendation is build it on the ground floor first um see if it'll work for you that way and what you want to do is you want to start with placing your spawner so what you want to do is actually place your spawner first so i'll go ahead and move this um you're going to want to place it like this you're gonna want to place it just like that and i'm not gonna place it right now because i don't want to mess up the one i already have set up but you want to place it right here place it first and then place your chair and usually that will hopefully work it should work um then you want to place your chair pretty much right next to it make sure it's flush we can get rid of these walls now these are just kind of placed there to to kind of get it set up properly but you don't really need the walls i don't think so once you get the you, you can see that the chair is, is is perfectly flush with the um with the spawner and again just place the chair second and it should work but if it doesn't, then kind of put it in the air like this and make sure they're lined up exactly. I don't know. I was having some issues with it earlier. Um, hopefully, it's going to work right now. I don't know. Well, I guess I guess we're about to find out. It should work, guys. It should work. But again, if it doesn't work for you, um, check. It might the, the glitch, honestly, might be patched or check that your setup is actually properly set up. These are, are perfectly flush and everything like that, so we're good to go. So I'm going to go ahead, and, um, I'm gonna go ahead and, and sit in my chair. And once you sit in your chair, guys, you're going to go over here and you're going to respawn the truck. Now, you're going to respawn the truck and wait for the wheels to kind of um, you know, stop spazzing out. They're still kind of spazzing out right now. That's because I think we're honestly off the ground. But um, it does the initial really like like really heavily kind of spazzing where it spins a lot. Right now, it's barely kind of glitching. And then you're just going to kind of jump off. 
skadoink, and I sh this should be good. It should be good. My, my guy's not wobbling. So, so again, yeah, it is a glitch, as you can see, that we're kind of carrying a chair on our freaking left shoulder right now. Um, but we should be good. I, I don't see my guy flopping a little bit. Sometimes it can be really, really, really hard to control. Also, I'd recommend spawning into this space so your walk is a lot closer. But usually it's a lot harder to control, which kind of makes me nervous. Like, this isn't going to work. Okay. So let's just... Okay, maybe it is going to work. Ow! Ow! Don't damage it! Jump! Oh my gosh, that's the worst place to flop. Oh! Oh! Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Okay, so what you want to do is you're going to want to walk into... Um, you're going to want to see if I can turn him around without glitching out. Come on, midget. Come on, midget. There we go. There we go. Okay. So, yeah. So, you're going to want to kind of line yourself up. You're going to... Oh! You're going to want to walk in so nothing crazy happens. Let's see. Are we working? I think it's... Is it working? I think it's working. It's working. It's totally working. So, then you're going to want to jump your way in. Just keep jumping, guys. If I were to stop jumping right now, watch this. I'll stop jumping. I'm going to be taking damage. See, now I'm taking damage, which is no good. You're going to die. So this this um, this um kind of uh, glitch, vehicle glitch thing allows your character to jump a little bit higher to where you're not actually taking j damage when you're jumping through the water. So as you can see, I'm, uh, I'm jumping through the water right now, and nothing is, you know, I'm not taking any damage. Again, if I were to stop jumping, I would be taking damage. So um, I got to give a little shout out to my homie, Death Star 2 eight nine for te for, uh, for initially telling me about this glitch so i appreciate that homie for uh for hooking me up with this kind of idea but yeah so this is pretty much how it works guys you want to gonna want to keep jumping if you don't if you don't keep jumping you're literally gonna die you you are literally gonna die so um you're gonna want to work your way all the way over to the island and then it gets a little bit tricky with bringing a um with with bringing a tree back so uh so and, and it might take a little bit of a while so depending on how good you are at maneuvering a piece of wood and, and stuff like that it can be a little bit challenging um, I'm going to show you like the easiest, newbiest way to do it. It does take a little bit longer, but guaranteed like no skill is required to make sure that this will work. So then you guys can all get palm wood and, uh, and build with some epic palm wood, although it still does take a while. Like I said, guys, it takes a while. As you can see, we're running out there right now, and it's, this is, this is, it's way quicker to get there than to come back. Okay, way quicker. So um, I'll show you kind of how to get it back, although I have seen some people do different methods in getting it back, which have been a lot quicker. But um, this is like, again, I'm going to show you the newbiest, easiest method so like you guys can all do it um, without, any, without any trouble. So now that we're on this island, you're going to probably just want to find the biggest tree, um, the biggest and fattest tree. Hello. Um, so I'm just going to go with, they all look pretty similar, but I'm going to go with, that tree's long, which is good. This one might be a little bit, I mean, they're honestly probably all the same size. I'm probably going just crazy. Um, I'm going to go with this guy right here. Just because he's kind of he's kind of branching out at the top, might be a little. Are they all branching out at the top? This one looks really fat though. I don't know why, but this one looks fatter. Yeah, we're gonna actually get this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and definitely chop at the bottom on this. Definitely, it's really 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 hard to. Ch oh, I didn't even get it at the bottom. But it's really it's really hard to chop. There we go. Now that one's at the bottom. Um, it's really hard to chop when you got this freaking truck um next like connected to you. Let's see if I can. See if I can, no, not that, oh my gosh. It's really hard to control, trust me, but it's worth it because you're getting wood in the game that technically you're not supposed to be getting. All right, let's see, can I do that? There we go, okay, tease it. Oh, we're not at the bottom, that's okay. At this point, I just want the tree cut. Cut it, baby, cut it, baby. If you got like a basic hatchet, this would be miserable. This would be so miserable because you'd have to cut so much more. Come on, come, oh no, oh no, oh no, come on. Just finish this cut, please. Just just finish this cut. Uh, uh, come on, two more, two more. Uh, okay, or one more. Hello. All right, so then you can carry it off, guys. And the way it works is it's it's a little bit tricky. Um, it's it's a little bit tricky. So I'm gonna kind of show you. I'm gonna show you the the newbies method. Also, wait. Please tell me we're gonna be going the right way by walking that way. Yeah, we should. Yeah, because that's the lava trees up there. Okay, so we should be going this way. It'd be really awkward if I was going the wrong way. Also, is that another palm island over there? And over there, wow, they're all over the place. Wow, we need those boats in the game pronto. Okay, so you're going to want to pick it out. Come on, come on, car, work with me. So you're going to want to pick it up and um, and just walk into the water and walk across. Now, you're going to be taking damage. That's okay. So throw this thing down there. Yes, you are. Oh, my gosh, that just glitched out. Hello. Um, yes, yeah, so you will be taking damage with this, guys. This is not like a for sure you're not going to die thing. Um, please stop glitching, truck, and just work with me here. Okay, get down get down the hill. The hill's the hardest part. Hills, are the Please don't die. Okay, that was really close. That was really close. Okay, once you once you stop being a noob like me and you get the tree to actually go on the bottom of this hill, 
you're gonna slowly hello doing backflips and stuff what's good you're gonna slowly 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 drag the um you're gonna slowly drag the tree across the bottom of the ocean so i'm just gonna keep jumping so i don't glitch out but you're gonna just constantly keep dragging it along the bottom of the ocean and then once you're about to die you just keep jumping until you regenerate health as you can tell in lumber tycoon it takes a really long time to regenerate your health so um i'm just gonna wait until i regenerate my health and then uh, and then i'll be right back and i'll show you dudes how this works all right dudes once your health is uh is regenerated it means you can go back into the water so i also move this thing down a little bit so pretty much the way i do which is the newbiest way but also like the safest way and like doesn't require any skill is um literally so i'm jumping right now i'm not taking any damage i got to be going straight my logs right in front of me so what i do is i just go first person and then I literally walk on the bottom of the ocean. I just walk this guy all the way, all the way. I keep a really close eye on my health. I really only wait till it goes into about the orange. And then I just jump again. And I just keep jumping. I just keep jumping like this. And I, I keep an eye on my health bar. And I wait for it to regenerate. Again, this is going to take you guys a little bit of time. It's going to take you about... 15 20 minutes just to get from the palm island maybe like 10 to 15 to get just from the palm island back home and you really only get one log out of it but um you are kind of uh you are kind of getting some really rare wood so it is worth it you know it is pretty cool um but yeah so that, this is what you gotta do you literally gotta just keep jumping keep jumping keep jumping until it gets into the green um now you can pick it up and and jump with it in your hands it's very hard to do that i tried for the longest time and i could not get it i could not get it working um, it's really hard to do and you gotta like I, I can I can I can show you right now How kind of hard it is to do once I have full health, but it's really hard You kind of got to look up to it and and hold it above your head and as you're jumping It's I think it's literally ridiculously hard, but some people think it's really easy and, they, and they're good enough to do it But um, I've also seen some people balance the truck really well to where they can put the the log actually in the in the truck So they're able to like just carry it on the truck and like just jump across and I was like that's insane like that That's really quick, but all right, so watch this so what you're supposed to do is click, look up, and then keep jumping. See, I already dropped it. It's it's literally, it's so hard. I honestly don't even recommend it if you look at your first or second try. But um, but it's really, really, really hard. So literally what I do is just a simple way. Um, once, uh, once, once my health is regenerated, I pick this bad boy up. Whoa, hello. Ah, don't glitch on me, truck. Come on, game. All right, so yeah. Oh, okay, now we're on top of it. You don't want to be jumping on top of it. Please don't glitch out. Okay. It's also easier if the log is sideways to, to carry, I think, in my opinion. It, it was a lot easier for me to do it sideways. Um, but yeah, so once my health is getting there, it's, it'll give it like a few more ticks. And then you can kind of uh, move it along. You're literally only moving like a couple feet each time. But you got to do what you got to do to survive, man. It'd be really unfortunate to die right now. Lose my axes, lose this tree, and I uh, basically have to restart. It's really, really, really terrible. So just take it slow. I recommend, you know, just taking it slow, doing it right, do it right the first time, you know what I mean? And it's also really hard to rotate, like, change direction when you're looking down here, so I recommend just taking it straight, um, pick pick a good line, and then and then just carry it straight, because rotating, as you can tell with this thing, is literally so annoying. All right, so that should be good right there, okay, yeah. So, yeah, so then you, you literally just keep doing this. I'm going to I'm gonna come on come on back and get in a good position. You really just always want to be in a good position so you can maximize your time when you're taking damage. But, yeah, you literally do this over and over and over again until you get over to the um, until you get over to the ramp, which is a little bit tricky. So I'm just going to fast-forward the video until I get over to the ramp, guys, and... Um, and show you what you do, what you do when you're when you're when you're at that point. All right, dudes, we're finally over to the ramp. It takes a while, and honestly, just play some music, hang out with some people, maybe hop on my Discord, talk to some people while you're doing this because it takes a lot of time. But anyway, um, so what, after you kind of get up to the ramp, guys, it's kind of important. Um, so you want to get all the way up to the bottom of the ramp right here, and you want to make you want to go from the bottom of the ramp to the middle of the ramp in one go. Because the thing, the wood is just going to keep sliding down. Most likely, it'll slide down if you stop midway. So let's see if I can do this on my first try. It's honestly kind of hard and annoying. But um, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to pick it up and drag it, and you're going to go, 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 go. Come on, game, go, go, game, go, game, go, game, go, game. Oh, we made it all the way up to the top. Let's freaking go! Oh my gosh, don't drop it, don't drop it, midget, don't drop it, midget, don't, 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 don't drop it. Do not drop it. All right, killer. Wait, I'm, I'm almost positive that there's like a halfway mark right here um, where you could stop in case you're not going to make it, um, but I could honestly be wrong. I'm almost positive that there is one. Maybe there's not. Oh, maybe not. Okay, so maybe not. Maybe it is literally like right. I don't know. Well, whatever. You could, you could do it in one go. I thought when I did it the past few times, I stopped halfway on the um, on the ramp. But if you can do it all in one go, then do it. But again, you don't really want to stop on the ramp because the, the log will, will slide back down and then you're and then you're kind of poop out of luck when that happens. But anyway... Now you're probably like, how the heck do I get this stupid car off of me? I can't see anything. I don't know what the heck is going on. So all you gotta do to really get the car off you dudes is, first off, I'd walk back to your base with your uh, with your log just in case. So no uh, 
nobody takes that stuff but uh but then you're gonna want to just respawn the truck right there and then you're good to go you're solid you're, you're chilling just let that bad boy chill right there and then you're good to go you did all that work and now you've got the infamous palm wood you can roll it through the uh roll, roll through the, whoops you can roll it through the system um you can sell this stuff guys uh you can do whatever the heck you want you can build it if, with it if you want um or you can honestly you can cash it in it's actually worth Come on, why is this thing being so annoying? It's honestly, it's worth something if you were to go cash it in, like, to the actual, like, like, real, um, like, if you go over there to the Woods R Us and cash it into the Lumberyard thing, it's actually worth something. So you don't just have to sell this to other players. You can go cash it in. And if you guys are wondering how much it is and all that, I don't remember it off the top of my head. Um, but if you go check out, ooh, it's actually chopping like that. Holy cow, let's go ahead and chop right here anyway. Um, but yeah, if you go ahead and, um, check the link in the description, I'll link, uh, I'll link a video where I pretty much explain where all, how much every single wood in the game is actually worth um so yeah so if you guys want to go check that out then check it out in the description will also be in the end screens at the end of this video but uh but yeah you can see how much palm wood's worth along with everything else but look at this we got some massive pieces of palm wood um and uh, and it's and it's baller boys it's baller that's how you get the palm wood woo -woo. it's kind of annoying though i will tell you i was really bored i listened to about I think I listened to about 10-ish songs, 10, I think 10 songs, so if you look at, no, it was definitely less, it was, it was about 20 minutes of, of waiting, so around like maybe 6 or 7 songs max, um, yeah, and then, it, so it takes about that long if you're doing it kind of the newbie way, if you can kind of figure it out, um, kind of carrying it and doing it that way, like, like jumping with the wood in your hands, again, it's really hard, um, if you want to kind of do smaller pieces at a time, you can chop up the tree and then it'll be a little more manageable to kind of run and jump with. Um, as well if you want to do it that way but yeah dudes that's pretty much how you get palm wood again this might get patched a lot of uh, a lot of people have been kind of um making videos on this and telling lots of people about it so um if default if, if defaultio wakes up from his hibernation and actually updates this game then um i can imagine him patching this bug or even or even adding in boats or anything uh so you don't have to do this glitch but yeah dudes that's how you get the palm wood uh so i hope you guys learned something new in this video and if you guys want to get some palm wood then definitely go do it again discord is linked down below go ahead and click that bad boy join in on the discord join in on the fun but yeah dudes that is gonna do it for today so hope you enjoyed the video if you did so much that like button and you guys already know the drill but if you haven't already make sure you be fly and subscribe